Siri is probably the biggest addition to macOS Sierra. Siri has been a big part of iOS on our iPhones and iPads for a few years now. Siri on the Mac does everything that she does on iOS, like adding calendar events, launching apps, getting the weather, etc. But there are a few things Siri can do on the Mac that she doesn't do on an iPad or iPhone. Before we get into that, let's see how Siri can be invoked on the Mac. When you first install macOS Sierra, you'll be asked if you want to enable Siri on this Mac. If you say yes, a Siri icon is going to be added to the dock and in the menu bar. Siri exists as an app here in my Applications folder. Siri also gets its own system preference pane, where we can enable or disable Siri altogether. We can also change the language used, Siri's voice, whether or not Siri will give you voice feedback, which mic to use for Siri, and a keyboard shortcut. Here in the keyboard shortcut menu, we have a few options. So far, of these available options, I really like Hold Command Space. This makes invoking Siri on the Mac more similar to doing it on an iPhone, where you need to hold down the Home button. Command Space is already the shortcut for bringing up Spotlight Search, but the Mac does a good job of knowing the difference between doing a quick press of Command Space and holding the two keys down to invoke Siri. A custom keyboard shortcut can also be set up for Siri if you like. So now let's ask Siri a few questions. First, I'm going to do a web search for pictures of volcanoes. Search the web for pictures of volcanoes. Here are some images of volcano I found on the web. That shows me a selection of images. Choose one and hit the space bar to quick look it. Click and drag on an image and I can place it on the desktop or into a folder. If an application is open, like Pages, I can drag the image I want from this search right into a document. Now let's do a search for specific files. Show me the Pages documents I opened today. Here are all of the documents that were opened today. That displays three files. Select one and hit the space bar to quick look. Double click on it to open. Notice a plus button here in the upper right. Click this and the search is saved as a notifications widget. So if I were to open a different pages document, after closing it, it's also going to appear in the search. Using Siri to locate specific files quickly can often be faster than navigating with the finder to locate a file. One other task I like to use Siri for is starting an iTunes playlist. Start the On the Road playlist. To see other suggestions, invoke Siri and just wait a few seconds. A list showing you what else you can ask Siri will then display.